10-year-old son is struggling to get the snap and tilt and get away from the traditional push swing. Any specifics to help get the snap part down first or learn both at the same time? Well, the hard thing about learning the high-level pattern is you really can't snap right or completely right, I should say, if your leg isn't right also. And you really can't do your leg right unless your snap is right also, plus the stretch between them. So you just kind of got to jump in the pool and swim your way out, um, work and work and work at things. Um, eventually you get an understanding and you can see how the two play against each other. And then you'll start to refine both of them, both the hand pivot point and the rear leg pivot point. But <clears throat> as far as the snap is concerned, the video that I put up, I think it's called the high level pattern, or no, the hand pivot point, where we don't apply force into the baseball the moment we hit the baseball. We apply the force instantly at launch and we're done. We're done applying force before the bat hits the ball, okay? That takes some work to get people to understand. Um, it's not that hard to do, but they have to get the feeling that they're snapping their bat into autopilot, that they instantly torque the handle, and by right here, they're done torquing, and the bat comes on around as their body finishes the turn. And that is something that you just have to master right now. Um, you can't do that from two legs. You have to kind of, I would have them narrow up and get a little coil and then keep this coil and go to a kickstand. And then I'm gonna ask them to snap their barrel right there. Be done right there. And when they're done right there, but let it go, let it go on through. The, the application of force is done there, but this application of force, snapping the barrel there, is a rearward force, which stresses the leg. So this part right here is still stretched, even though it's launched, it's stretch, 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 and when the back gets flat, and it's no longer going rearward, because as it goes, starts down here, it's now going forward. When that back gets flat right there, the leg will just burst forward, okay? So, if you're having trouble with the, the snap and tilt, sometimes I set a T right here behind the hitter, and I just ask them to drive that ball straight into the ground. All you got, hard as you can, drive that ball straight in the ground to get this feeling here. This creating the launch, applying the force back here. So then I'll say, okay, look out here, look at your ball on your T, but create your force to drive this imaginary ball into the ground. And they'll do that, and then they'll do that, and they'll start to understand, okay?